Hello everybody and welcome back to some more shenanigans in Tiny Sasquatch. And where we left off in the previous episode, we managed of course to get ourselves all the way to the mountain hut. And because I did that, I may now be able to get more quests unlocked. Um, we only have still only two map pieces out of six, so I gotta find more of these. I have 500 coins to get myself the car, which I'm definitely gonna want to do. Uh, how many ducks? Only two out of five. So we, get, we still have to find three more little ducklings and uh, bring him back home. And at the same time, we also have this fellow we can chat with now. And of course, the reason we can chat with him is because we unlocked the mountain hut. Oh, hey Sasquatch! How have you been, my friends? Wait, you found an abandoned hut in the mountains and you want to rebuild it? Hmm, well, you came to the right place. Or more like you came to the right duck. But there's a problem. You see, my chicks have gone missing and I cannot do anything without them. Tell you what, bring back all five chicks and I will be rebuilding the hut for free. Oh, and uh, I'm all out of wood. Two stacks of wood should be good enough. All right, and now we know exactly what we needed uh, the little chicks to be all the way back home. So we have only two out of five completed so far. And I also have to bring some wood back here. So uh, guess what? That is exactly what we need uh, to get ourselves the car. Because I'm not going to be able to bring that wood from the sawmill without a car. But we're probably going to have to leave that one for a little later date. For now, let me make my way to the back here. Just like that. And have a quick chat with this fella because we do have the saw. Give him the saw. Oh, you found the saw that I asked for. Awesome. Give it here and sit back, buddy. This might get dangerous. There we go. The tree has just been cut all the way. It just needs a slight push. I'm gonna go back home now. Bye, Sasquatch. Awesome. And we got ourselves three out of five little ducks. Uh, that is good. Let's just push this up. So we can make the uh, bridge. There we go. Now we got what we need. And, oh god. Did I just get my... No, I just glitched myself back there. No, I cannot move. <laughs> Come on, Sasquatch. Oh, finally got out. Jeez, that was close. Alright, let me try to traverse this. <laughs> oh, I love this. I always enjoyed platformer adventures just like this one. That's why I wanted to recreate this world in the style of game that I always enjoy playing. And this looks super lovely, super duper lovely. All right, let's get ourselves a coin. We got 505 gains. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Um, we got to the Mushroom Hunter. Awesome, look at this guy's hut. This looks super special. Hey, buddy. All right, let's have a quick chat with him. Mm. Oh, hi there. Can you come a little bit closer? Uh, I lost my glasses and I cannot see very well. Okay. Timmy, is that you? Hmm, you look like you could use a shave. <laughs> While I was looking for my glasses in the mine, I found this box of scented candles. Or candlesticks, actually. If you bring me 10 mushrooms, you can have a candle. Awesome, we got ourselves the foraging tools. That's what I came here for. In the meantime, I know you have a dinghy hole back here, buddy. Give it to me. I know I need a lot of money. Of course, we do have enough money to get ourselves the uh, car, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a lot of coins as well in order to get ourselves wood. And, oh, there's the first mushroom. There we go. We got one out of ten. Awesome. Quest started. Let me get some food and let us get out of here. We now know what we got to do, and we kind of know where some of the mushrooms are, uh, which means we're going to have to keep on running back and forth, back and forth to the previous location that we visited. Oh, God, I did not want to jump down there. Oh, never mind. This one spawned me back here. Not bad. Uh, let me keep her going then. All right, there we go. All right, so as I was saying, I know that now I should have three ducks. Yeah, we have three little ducks back up here. Yep, we got all three of them. So we got to find two more. Two more little guys and we should be good. Uh, in that case, you know what? Let me make my way to the racetrack. Buy myself the vehicle. And using the vehicles, I'm definitely going to be able to just simply go back and forth, back and forth to the other locations a little bit faster. And try to collect me all the mushrooms. Because I really want to get me all the mushrooms. There are going to be quite a few of them, of course. And we are going to have to start looking for them quite a bit. But at least having a vehicle is going to be easier for us to uh, explore. Mm -mm. Oh, finally a customer. Mm -hmm. Hello there, and welcome to the best car shop in town. Actually, the only car shop in town. 
We usually have many cars in stock, but today we only have a pickup truck. Do you want it? They're selling like crazy. Do you want to buy the car for 500? Yes, we do. Here we go. Finally got ourselves a car. Yes. All right, enjoy your new car. And here's the keys. Also, if you lose your car, you can always call it back by pressing the D-pad down. Awesome. All right. And we got ourselves the vehicle. Look at this thing. Now we know. Oh, we can do this. We can use the flashlights and the horn. And if I press on X, it just speeds up a little bit. But first, hold up. Uh, let me go ahead and eat up something. So if I lose the car, if I press on down, I can spawn it back. Awesome. Definitely want that. Alright, so as I was saying, I know that there is a mushroom we can collect over here. Let me get to it real fast. And collect. There we go. We got 2 out of 10. Awesome. Alright, keep it going, buddy. Now, what do we have more of these mushrooms? Hmm. Let us see. I know we have one by the legendary fish in the campgrounds. And I'm pretty sure we have another one. Where was it? I do remember having one right here. And I don't remember having one by the fisherman either. Was there another mushroom by... Hold up. Let me keep on exploring. Oh, in the, in the, um, yeah, I think I know. I think I know on the right side. Oh, no, I'm going to get chased. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> Is he actually riding my, my, my vehicle? Dude, rise on up for free. <laughs> oh, my God. They were desperate about kicking us out. There we go. We got out. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we have a mushroom that we can get. All the way back here. Yes, by the RVM, by the RV2. I remember this one. So let me go ahead and collect that. And we're gonna have three mushrooms. Three mushrooms out of ten. There we go. Awesome. Alright, let's keep it going. Nothing else that we need to do here. Oh, you know what? I never try to visit the cave over here on the right side. So I should definitely go ahead and check that out. Uh, no coins in that inside this one. I think I already collected it, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, there we go. We have another bear. Yes. Let's check this out. Let's see what it's all about. And at the same time, I think there is another digging hole behind them. Give this to me, buddy. There we go. 26 coins. We're poor again. Dang it. <laughs> We spent so much money on that uh, vehicle. Can I interact with him though? Can I go in here? Hey, you may want to find the source of light if you plan to go inside there, Sasquatch. Oh, guess what? The flashlight, that's what he wants. All right, let's go in then. Oh, look at this place. Jeez, this cave is awesome. All right, let's collect some more coins then. And uh, keep it going. Hmm. Push square to push the cart. Okay. What is this gonna do? Oh god. That is gonna break the boxes. Yep, of course it did. Of course it did. Jeez. Well, uh, don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get myself more coins out of here. Oh, we got some TNT. Let's grab it. Dynamite. I uh, you know what? I think I gotta use the dynamite. In order to blow something up since I have that detonator. And let me make it through here. Let's see what we got. I'm kind of getting hungry, so I'm definitely going to have to get myself some food very soon. Uh, can I maybe place the TNT in here? Because I'm pretty sure I cannot cross, right? Yeah, I definitely cannot cross there. And I think I see a cache over there. And a mushroom. Yeah, I definitely have to go back there. So let me place this up. And I try to blow it up. But first... There is another hole that I gotta dig. There we go, little guy. We got 42 coins. Perfect. Can I interact with this? No, we cannot. Not yet, at least. So, if I make my way to the detonator, can I actually interact with it and blow that up? Let's just find out. 
Huh. Got a little bit of fire here, lighting up the place. So if I make my way... Ugh. Can I climb up? Let's see if I can. Yes, we can. Uh, I'm a little bit afraid, though, that I'm gonna get myself stuck. So I'm not gonna try to do that. Instead, let me just detonate this thing and see what's gonna happen. There we go. We opened up the cave. Awesome. All right, now we can finally go back there and see what we can find. Uh, at the same time, what do we have on the right side here? Let's see. I have a little bit of food and some extra coins. So let me grab these ones real fast. Let me get a shovel and open this up as well. What's Sasquatch doing? Stop running, buddy. <laughs> All right, we got 56 coins. We got quite a bit of weight, though. You're so poor, and I know for sure I'm going to need a lot of coins in order to buy that wood. Because the wood ain't going to be easy. It ain't going to be for free. Okay, let me get the flashlight, and let me make my way to this side. Oh, what do we got here? So, you're the one causing all that ruckus, eh? Hmm, weird. I really expected it to be taller. Oh, well, there's a treasure in the crystal behind me. But you need to get past the challenge first. Good luck, tiny one. All right, buddy. Oh man, this is gonna be pretty challenging. And of course, as you all can see, this is completely different from Sneaky Sasquatch. I just wanted to have like a really, really challenging platformer uh, that we're gonna have to do here in order to get to the treasure, which we are gonna try to complete right now. This is also very difficult for me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it in one run. But I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. Almost fell down. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna get burned. Oh, I didn't. Awesome. Look at me not falling down. I usually actually fail a lot of times doing... And I did. <laughs> As I was saying that. Thankfully, there is a checkpoint on top of this thing. So, uh, you're good. Even if you fall down on this side, at least, you're gonna get spawned back. And you can... Oh, dang it. I did it. I did it again. At least I get rid of, uh, those platforms. So I can figure out how to get across here and see a little bit better what I'm doing. There we go. Pretty easy. Oh, no. I messed up. Thank it. Yeah, this ain't gonna be easy. You are gonna have to fill a couple of times before you're gonna figure out how to do this right. And I fill down again. Gosh dang it. I'm pretty sure I cannot jump over there. So I'm not gonna even bother to try. Come on. I gotta jump a little bit further. Ugh. Thank it. For some reason, I cannot make this jump. Seriously, buddy? There you go, finally did it. Jump on this. Jump on this. And now we can go. No! Dang it, dude. I'm letting go of the uh, joystick a little bit too soon. That's why I keep on falling down. Because I'm afraid of jumping too far. Alright, let's try this again. No, stop pushing me. Oh my god, this is not easy. Not even for me. I think the problem that I'm having is that because I have some drift on my controller. It's going further than I'm actually telling it to go, and that's why I keep on falling. I'm also kind of trying to combat my drift in the controller as well at the same time. No! Almost messed up. Alright, and we finally, finally got it. Jeez, dude. Okay, we got it here. Let's get myself some treasure. We got... 181, that's what I'm talking about. And the mushroom, 4 out of 10. Now, apparently, what I gotta do here is open up this crystal. Hmm. But this ain't gonna be as easy. Ah, uh, you, uh, you can actually interact with these crystals. So what you gotta have to do here is look at the crystal. It's gonna be kind of like a someone says puzzle. Just look at them and try to figure out what the pattern is. So, we're gonna start now. That's the first one. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. If you do this in the right pattern, it is gonna open up hopefully this crazy looking crystal, right? And uh, we're gonna get ourselves something. So let's see. So that's gonna be first. There we go. Second. Third. Fourth. And fifth. 
Awesome. Look at this thing. This looks amazing. And this unveiled, of course, another treasure map. There we go. We got three out of six. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Uh, how am I going to get back, though? Because I'm not going to be able to go through here. Well, we're going to have to jump here. Here, activate the lever. And just simply let this thing do its job. Now, of course, I was saying this is uh, something totally different from the original Sneaky Sasquatch. Um, I just wanted it to be really, really challenging. Just because I always enjoy kind of playing platformer games. And I wanted to add a little bit of a challenge to this section of the puzzle. And I feel like I achieved exactly what I wanted. It's not that difficult. It does get easier, of course, as you keep on jumping more and more uh, over those platforms. But um, there we have it. We got ourselves 4 out of 10 mushrooms. We got 3 out of 5 chicks gathered. And 3 out of 6 treasure maps collected. Uh, meaning we got to find 3 more. Wait, did I already get this? Oh, I didn't. Never mind. Uh, hold up. Let me get the shovel. Get myself a little bit more coin. Awesome. We got another one. 191. I'm going to try to get enough money to also buy the cowboy hat from the raccoon shop. Because that is the last thing that he has. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'm not trying to go inside the cave anymore. I've done my job. Alright, uh, do we have any more mushrooms around here? Let me try to remember. Where do I have any more mushrooms? Um, oh, you know what? I gotta go buy the legendary fish. That's where I have another mushroom that I gotta collect. Yeah, for sure. I definitely have to go there. Definitely, have, def definitely, definitely have to go ahead and do that. I don't think there's any mushrooms in there. So, in order to get to the legendary fish, we gotta cross through this side. And other than this, I do not remember any other mushrooms. Oh god, I'm gonna be so slow. The water is slowing me down. Uh, this is gonna be mushroom 5, which means we're gonna be halfway there. Uh, jump, jump. Alright, we got it. 5 out of 10 mushrooms. Oh, you know what? There's also a mushroom uh, by the mountain, all the way on top of the mountain. Uh, by the hut. By the mountain hut, right? That's where I gotta go as well. And thankfully, I do have a car, and I also have the bus ticket to be able to get there. Oh, and another one at the sawmill, and another one... Yeah, hold up. Let me shake a little bit here. Uh, and another one by the treasure, by the secret treasure. Um, through the tree. So we gotta go that side as well. Okay. Let us see here. Got ourselves some food. So there's gonna be three more mushrooms, which means we still have to find two more somewhere. Can I maybe spawn the car out here? I cannot. Hmm. What about here? Can I spawn the car? Yes, we can. There we go. Alright, this is right out. Get past this guy. Hopefully, he's not gonna catch me. Jeez, he's super fast. <laughs> he just wanted to go for a ride, I guess. Alright, I don't remember having any mushrooms by the fisherman. I already collected the mushroom at the racetrack. But let me take the bus because this is gonna be a little bit easier for us. Yeah. Uh, let me go to the sawmill first. Alright, perfect. So now that we got the sawmill, oh we also have to get ourselves some wood. You know what? I think I'm gonna actually activate the wood. And see if I can buy some. So in order to get the wood, we got to put on the hard hat. Fix this up because it doesn't have any electricity. And now... Oh, hold up. We got to put on the uh, wood as well. There we go. And... Activate. There we go. The sawmill is on. Is this even working? It is. Okay, so that is going to transform into a log, I guess. Or that log is going to transform into lumber. Just like that. 
Next up, we gotta cut it down into smaller pieces and uh, eventually get ourselves a full stack of lumber. <laughs> there we go, it works. You guys have no idea how long I worked on this. It took me so long to actually get this sawmill to function the way it is. All right, and the last stage of the lumber is gonna be right on this side. At the same time, let me spawn me the car. Now, how much money we have? 191. Definitely not gonna have enough, right? Mm. Hey, if you wanna buy some wood, you have to wait a bit. Mm. It seems the saw broke and needs to be fixed. Mm. Come back later, once we fix mm. it. What do you mean, buddy? I already fixed it. Look at this. Everybody got ourselves some wood. Is he gonna mm. notice it? The sawmill is fixed. Mm. Park the car in the yellow zone and select the wood to load it up. Mm. Ah. Oh my god, but it's gonna be 1600 coins. Mm. I don't have that much money. Of course, I can park the car here, but I don't have that much money at the moment to buy it. So, we're definitely gonna have to do this later on. Once I get me more coins. But first, let me go back here. Oh, stop this. And get myself. Mushroom number six. All right, that's what I was looking for. So we know we have this one. Uh, as I was saying, we know we have another mushroom by the mountain, all the way to the top of the mountain. And I'm definitely gonna use, oh, I should've eaten, I think it. Anyway, uh, I'm definitely gonna use mm -hmm. this guy to take you to the lodge. There we go. I mean, I think I have a cooler out here that I can actually get some food. And next up, I'm going to make my way all the way to the mountain hut because there is another ma uh, mushroom all the way up there by my cabin. Come on, Sasquatch. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to faint and go back home. And we got it. Perfect. I ain't going to faint today. Now, hold up. Isn't there also another digging hole? Underneath the uh, ski lift. I don't remember if I collected it or not, but I'm pretty sure there is one back there. Mm, I think I might have collected it. Yep, yeah, definitely collected it. Okay, never mind. Let's keep it going. What about back here? Any coins back here? Nope, I think I already collected this one as well. Yeah, we are down to 200 coins and we're gonna need so many. Alright, let's keep it going. I have a feeling if I do make the um, bunny races, maybe those are going to give me a lot of coins that I will be able to then use in order to buy the wood that I need. Alright. Uh, oh, not to mention, we do have multiple levels that we got to explore in the mountain here. Um, what about coins? Any more coins right here? So no coins back there. But I do have a digging hole all the way back here. Let's grab this real fast. Of course, that's not going to be that much because every single one of these digging holes is just going to give us 10 coins. But we at least reached 200. Meaning, in order to get myself some wood, I need 1,400 coins. Jeez, that's going to be so much. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, let me at least finish up the mushrooms. So currently we have six. We're gonna have seven after this one. And we just need to find three more. And I don't really remember where I've seen um, any more mushrooms. Hmm, where did I see more mushrooms? Maybe I should go to the golf course. Probably gonna have some there. There we go. Seven out of ten. Perfect. So we got the one from the legendary fish. Uh, we got the mushroom from the racetrack. Pretty sure I did. Uh, what else? I don't remember having any more mushrooms all the way high up. So because of that, let me actually take an easy path. <laughs> to this side. Oh god, I gotta dodge the holes and the trees. No, I think it. I hit a tree. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's try this again. Sliding down this is not gonna be that easy because these trees are gonna be pretty easy to hit. People don't pay attention. Oh no, a hole! Take it. Yeah, that ain't gonna be easy. 
Okay, let's try it one more time. You're going to have to try this a couple of times before you're actually going to learn uh, the pattern of the course. But once you do, it's going to be pretty easy. You know what? I'm not going to try this anymore. Not going to even bother. Let's keep on going back down using the uh, ski lift. We got the ticket, so we don't need to do anything else. Now, where do I have more mushrooms? Um, hmm. Don't remember. Oh, uh, I know, I know, I know. We gotta go through that log by the sawmill. And I'm just gonna use my car. I'm not gonna use the bus because the bus only stops at the sawmill and at the lodge. And I think that log is kind of in between these two places. So the vehicle, our own car, is definitely gonna be the way to go. That means we're gonna have 8 out of 10 mushrooms. So we're probably gonna find another mushroom by... Hmm. By where? Probably gonna have another mushroom by the golf course because we've never been there before. Oh, you know what? We've never been by the maze, so we're probably gonna have another one there as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, definitely gonna have to do that as well. Well, in that case, uh, let me spawn me the car. And let me make my way back home. Exploring the world is so much easier with a vehicle now. Because running on your feet on this path is just taking so super long. Alright, jump off. Jump in here, and there we go, the mushroom. Alright, so this is gonna be 8 out of 10. Perfect, we just need to find some more. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Uh, let me get my car back. Let's go back home. So, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure that another mushroom is somewhere in the golf course. So, let me make my way in the golf course and try to look for that one. Because that is going to be mushroom number nine. Oh, I did not want to run into those trees. Come on, buddy. Almost there. Alright, perfect. Let me go to this side. And lastly, golf course over here. Awesome. This is, of course, the first time we're exploring the golf course. So let me see what I can find. Uh, even more coins, because we've never came before, of course. So let me grab... This bad boy. There we go. 211 coins. Perfect. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with uh, Sasquatch's eyelids. Every single time he's jumping out of the vehicle, his eyelids are going insane. Look at his face. <laughs> Alright, uh, there are a few more coins over here, right? There's like a digging hole that I can use. Yes, there is. Problem is, I'm kind of starving. I gotta find some food real fast. Or else. So, ooh, we have a uh, chest here as well. Oh, I cannot open it. Uh, you know what? Hold up. In order to open this up, I need to get myself the golf club. And play a little bit golf, I think. Alright, we gotta get the hole, uh, the ball in the hole over there. Uh, I don't think I need a specific number of shots, so let's just get this in. Here we go, buddy. We gotta do it again, though. And shoot. Awesome. We've done it. And with that done, we opened up the cash, uh, which means I'm gonna be able to give myself a few more coins. Hold on, let me jump in this. Go this way. Jump. Oh. Jump out. There we go. And let me try to get me this cash. 321. We are getting there. We are definitely getting there. Uh, and ultimately, let me look for that mushroom. There has to be a mushroom around here. Oh, including this one, of course. Oh, hey, pal. You look like someone that knows how to swing a golf puck. 
Mm. I guess I do. If you can beat my high score in uh, mini golf, mm. hmm. give it a try. And if you win, I will give you this piece of paper. You mm. might just want. I'm gonna be guessing he's talking about a map piece. So uh, we're definitely gonna have to try mini golf as well. But at the moment, I'm focusing on trying to get myself uh, all the mushrooms. Let me collect this. Another coin over here. And let's see if I can find the mushroom right here. From what I remember in Sneaky Sasquatch, mushrooms in this area are kind of stuck to the trees. So maybe I should actually pay attention to the trees and see if we have any mushroom trees. Uh, three mushrooms, actually, I want to say. Yeah, no mushrooms here. On that side, there's a fence, so I'm guessing there's no mushrooms over there. If I check this side... No mushrooms here either. Oh, a coin! No more coins here. We got a coin over here. Oh, there's a mushroom! There we go. Alright, so, as I, was as I was saying, a mushroom on a tree. That's what you're looking for. So we got 9 out of 10. Perfect. And I also see a finish line for the racetrack. So there's probably going to be a race I'm going to have to do all the way to this side. So good thing that we found this one. So that next up, we know where we got to go in order to finish up another race. But now that we got 9 out of 10 mushrooms, 3 map pieces, 3 chicks out of 5, uh, 2 races out of 5, and 10 out of 10 fires, we are definitely getting there. We just have a little bit more to go and we are going to be able to eventually finish this up. But anyway, guys, that being said, this is going to be the end of this episode of Tiny Sasquatch, and we'll come back the next one. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to try to do maybe more races, see how those go, and then uh, come back here and try to finish up the mini golf course just to get myself another map piece, because we only have three at the moment, and we need three more in order to finish up the game. But that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you guys are interested in the game, you know where to find it down below. Link down below in the description. This has been created in Dreams. Let me know what you think about it, and I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye, everybody.